What's going on you guys? So I've got a pretty interesting video for you today. So for anyone that may be unfamiliar, the O'Hare UFO sighting was a massively witnessed UFO sighting from back around November of 2006, and it took place at the O'Hare Airport in Chicago. Now, this supposed UFO was witnessed by at least 12 employees of the airport and countless civilians, but it was originally spotted by an employee who noticed the object hovering above a plane in the area, before it ultimately shot off into the clouds at an estimated speed of 3 miles per second, which is incredibly fast. Witnesses say that the object was an obvious disc shape, and it shot through the clouds so quickly that it left a perfectly cylindrical hole in them, which you could see the clear blue sky through. Now, there aren't any actual photos of this UFO, but some reports say that the pilots of the aircraft that was in the nearby area did manage to capture a few images. But it's believed that these were likely taken by the government or the airport to avoid any sort of public panic or anything like that. Now, eventually, the government claimed that this was some sort of unexplainable natural phenomenon, specifically some sort of weather-based phenomenon. But a recording between a newscaster and an interviewee was leaked that seems to completely claim otherwise. Now, this clip was never meant to be seen by the public, but it was leaked by an employee from the news organization and in many ways dramatically contradicts the official reports of the incident. But what personally stuck out to me is that the newscaster doesn't even seem shocked when the idea of a government cover-up is suggested, meaning that this could likely happen, you know, much more frequently than we may think. Now, for the sake of transparency, this clip is actually a bit old. It was uploaded about eight years ago, but it only recently gained any sort of substantial popularity. So after watching this clip, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, let me know if you think this was some sort of UFO, if it was some sort of natural phenomenon, or something else entirely. This is one of the most well-documented UFO sightings to date, but there's still just such a small amount of information available on it that, I mean, pretty much any theory is welcome. But anyway, that's the video for today, you guys. Be sure to stay tuned for the clip in just a moment. Yo. Oh, hey. Here's Don. Hey, John. Hey, Jim. How are you? Well, fine, thanks. How are you? <laughs> Busy with this UFO oh, stuff. Oh, my God. Did you see it hit the Fox crawl uh, Monday night? Did it? It's yes. just been everywhere. I mean, I've been on CNN... Uh, my, to my fourth appearance today. Really? Uh, every MSNBC, every network. Oh my goodness! And just worldwide. I mean, yeah, uh, Australia, everywhere. <laughs> well, uh, was, is it by this time tomorrow, I'm going to prove it. Yeah, U Uni United is now acknowledging that they were approached by employees, mm -hmm. so they've done that okay. flip flop. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to locate photos of this. I'm told there may be oh, photos. Really. Oh, Can no, I, I don't think... No, 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 no. I mean, I, I, I'm told the pilots on that plane that was being pushed back, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I said in the story that they opened the windscreen and stuck their head out. Now I'm being told that one of them had a digital camera and snapped some pictures. Wow. So United is not playing ball with me, and uh, FAA, I've expanded my FOIA to include the flight plan, which might include the pilots' names, and I'm trying to work with the union as well. Are they still going by weather phenomenon? Uh, FAA, you know, pretty much because of the federal holiday, I, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't talked to them that much. But yeah, they're, they're, they haven't changed their story. Mm -hmm. And it's, I've just they heard, are, heard yeah. from other people, you know, since then that, you know, that, that's, that explanation just doesn't wash. And they haven't gone out of their way to, to say anything otherwise so far? No, I mean, they say, you know, it was, it was November 7th, they're, they're moving on. They're just mm -hmm. doing their daily thing. Well, I tell you what, the uh, all the people who saw it must be feeling a little validated right about now, huh? Oh yeah, and I'm getting tons of emails from other people who outside the airport as well as at O'Hare really? who also either sighted that same object or saw the hole in the sky and said, "What is that?" Wow. Okay, Australia. What what other international? Oh my God. I mean, I mean, all over Europe. Oh my gosh. Um, really? You know, hearing from people, you know, Ireland. They say, you know, we, we heard about what's happening at O'Hara. <laughs> <You're kidding. laughs> I mean, Put your hair up. <laughs> I mean, just as well wow. as serious, you know, uh, researchers at major U.S. universities who've attempted to do their own investigations, and when they go to the government to try to get information, uh, they get stonewalled. So there really is this universal feeling that the government knows a lot more than it's willing to tell. Oh, man. Okay.